Hi guys, Al Marco here, and this is going to be your Sunday video report. Plenty of ground to cover here, so we're going to move quickly through it. First of all, for the first time ever, I'm going to do a buy one, get one free option on a Sunday. All the details of that coming up in just a moment. Plus, we'll run down who's hot, who's not. Plus, I've got two free picks. Game four of the Heat Knicks series, plus another winner in the Houston St. Louis baseball series as well. But first, you know, I like to joke around, like to have a good time on here. But, uh, you know, I'm also a news junkie. I've mentioned that many times. I probably uh, skim the sites of 20 to 30 newspaper sites on a daily basis via the Internet. And not only scouring, you know, for handicapping tips and news and notes, but also because I'm a news junkie and always have been. Didn't realize it until going to the Philly.com site today, which is the home of the Philadelphia Inquirer and the Philadelphia Daily News, that today is the 75 year anniversary of the Hindenburg disaster. Of course, much was made last month of it being the 100-year anniversary of the Titanic sinking, but what many don't even remember probably is that it's been 75 years ago as of today. As a matter of fact, I think it was like 7.25 p.m. Eastern Time at night when the dirigible uh, the Hindenburg crashed in, uh, crashed and burned actually, uh, in Lakehurst, New Jersey, near Atlantic City. Of course, the Hindenburg, a dirigible, part of Hitler's uh, air fleet. You know, nowadays we think of blimps. You know, we think of the Goodyear blimp, those type of things, when we see the scenic overhead shots for uh, sporting events. But back in those days, it was a viable method of air travel. But anyway, fascinating story. If you go to philly.com, you can check it out there. Also, of course, for many of you, you probably, I don't know, you know, I'm older than maybe some of you out there. I remember seeing the newsreel footage of it. Unlike the Titanic, there is newsreel footage of this. And of course, a dramatic call by a guy by the name of Herbert Morrison, who was an announcer who was doing the commentary for the landing of the Hindenburg for then WLS Radio. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, I'll put the link here underneath my video. You can see it uh, on YouTube. Uh, the beginning is just a still shot of New York City, right? But if you fast forward just a little bit or just be patient for like 30 seconds, you will actually get to see uh, the newsreel footage of the, uh, the, the disaster. And of course, here his uh, famous, famous uh, commentary about it. Um, 13 of the 36 people uh, that were passengers died in that one, and uh, 22 of the 61 crew members. Only one, only one surviving crew member. He was an eight-year-old little boy at the time of the crash, 75 years ago. Lost his father, lost his 14-year-old uh, sister at the time as well um, in the crash. So uh, anyway, just fascinating thing. I mean, there's more than gambling in life, guys, and uh, if I can uh, broaden your horizons, what the hell. Okay, let's get busy here. Um, you know, part of my job here sometimes, I think, is that I'm, a, I'm the company psychologist uh, because after bitter beats, I get the calls. I get the calls, I get the emails, I get the text messages, and so far this NBA playoff series, I've been getting a lot of them. I feel like Lucy and the Peanuts uh, comic strip, you know, I should be putting my shingle out that the doctor is in, putting up five cents for, you know, the price of advice uh, because, uh, you know, I've told you the last couple days. I've stayed away from the NBA playoffs the last couple days, and I'm doing so again today because I have found that the best value is in baseball, and I've delivered back-to-back -back baseball dogs to improve to 14-6 and six with my baseball picks this season because the way I think about it is this. They don't pay you more at the collection window, at the cashier window, uh, for a basketball winner than they do for a baseball winner. And in my case, the past two days, cashing in with a $1.10 dog on Friday night and a $1.30 dog yesterday, they actually pay you more for those baseball winners. I don't set any rules here. The guys can do whatever they want, whatever they feel best at. But as I pointed out in the last couple of days of videos, these playoffs have been weird. I mean, no lead is safe. How many games have you seen in the third or the fourth quarter, one team or the other, blowing these monstrous double-digit leads. Case in point, yesterday, the Indiana Pacers guys, you know, they went on that incredible, incredible run. You're up 19 points. You think you have the Pacers in hand laying five at Orlando, and the game goes in overtime. Yeah, they win it, but they don't cover. The Magic get the cover. I mean, you talk about a bad beat. Oh, that was nothing 
compared to what happened in the Memphis LA Clippers game. I mean, the Clippers have the game in hand. I mean, you know, they're comfortably up five, six points with about a minute to go. Memphis hits a three-pointer. Okay, but you know how that game is going to play out. You know they're going to be sending everybody to the free-throw line, Memphis is, because they're still trailing in the contest. Um, you know, 13 seconds or so to play. Memphis is still down three. Clippers then missed nine of 12 free throws in the final 30 seconds of that game. Nine of 12 free throws they missed. And, of course, you know Memphis isn't sending Chris Paul to the line. Absolutely not. No, Eric Bledsoe, a career 71% free throw shooter, goes to the line eight times. He misses six out of eight shots. Uh, you know, Reggie Evans, it, you know, Reggie Evans has made his career in the NBA by being a hustle player. He's a bricklayer, <laughs> I mean, as far as a shooter. He misses three out of four free throws. I mean, listen, the Grizzlies played it the right way. You foul the worst free throw shooters on the floor. Makes you wonder, though, Vinny Del Negro, what are you doing? What are you doing having Reggie Evans and Eric Bledsoe among your five players out there in a close game in the closing minute in the first place? Come on. I mean, it's basketball 101. You want your best free throw shooters out there because the ball inevitably finds them. Uh, the worst free throw shooters inevitably finds them and the opponents inevitably wants to foul the worst free throw shooters. They did yesterday and that cost everybody the cover. I mean, that was a devastating loss. And guys, I feel your pain. Hey, trust me. I feel Shawn Michaels' pain with his 100 dime play that looked like a winner on uh, the Clippers. I feel Anthony Red's pain uh, losing that 80 dime play on the Clippers. Of course, the flip side is Trace Adams. Cash is in yesterday with another 1,500 star winner with the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. You know, there are bad beats, but the flip side of the equation is some guys catch the big win. It's a 50 50 proposition. So let's talk about some of the guys that have big plays. First of all, Trace Adams, uh, uh, you know, he's been on a red-hot roll here uh, today looking for winning day number five in a row. Now, normally a 1,000-star play is his top-rated selection. He's had 1,500-star plays on the Miami Heat by 17 on Thursday night on Philadelphia. Huge fourth-quarter rally right against Chicago on uh, Friday night over the Bulls. Yesterday, Memphis with that miraculous backdoor cover. They were all 1,500-star winners today. Double your wager, 2,000-star Eastern Conference Game of the Year, Bulls and 76ers. He's had one under 2,000-star play so far in the postseason. It was Indiana by 23 points over Orlando on Wednesday night. That's what he's got going today. Another guy with a monster play today, Dom Chambers. Uh, Dom is coming off some monster plays. 39 winner on the Heat on Thursday night. Uh, 49 winner on the 76ers on Friday night. 60 dime winner on the Oklahoma City Thunder last night. Today, 100 dime winner number 7 out of 11. His first round mismatch of the year on the Lakers and the Nuggets. Uh, Chuck O'Brien, biggest NBA play of his career. 75-dime NBA winner number four in a row. Also, Lakers and Nuggets today. Um, he's had three other 75-dime plays ever in the NBA. They all happened last year in the postseason. Uh, one was Indiana's cover against Chicago back on um, April 16th. Another one was May 26th, the Thunder's cover as a road dog against Dallas. And, of course, uh, one of his best ones. His last one prior to today's was Dallas as the big underdog in the NBA Finals, a series play against the Miami Heat. Um, so that's what he's got going today. So those are among some of the handicappers that have, uh, you know, their plays going today. And again, let me just remind you, today is going to be buy one, get one free. And here's how this works, guys. You buy the plays of any particular handicapper today, and you get the plays of a second handicapper of equal or lesser value for free. Now, this does not apply to pay after you win plays. It does not apply to package plays. Okay, this applies to the Sunday selections of the handicappers at the site. Any of the handicappers at the site. Buy one, get one free. You buy one, you get the plays of the second handicapper of equal or lesser value for free. So, for example, let me, and let me just call something up here, guys. And listen, I'm doing this here live, so just bear with me. Dom Chambers today is $79, okay? His 100 dime play, what is 100 dime winner number 7 out of 11. If you buy Dom Chambers today for $79, whatever is $79 or less today from another handicapper, their Sunday plays, you would get it for free. And here's how you get it for free. You make your purchase. 
Then you send in an email to customer service. Hit the contact us link or the customer service link. You send in an email and you tell customer service what handicappers plays you want the second handicapper for free. And within 10 minutes, they'll go ahead and add that handicappers plays to your account. And then you log back in and you get it. It's that easy and it's free. You don't have to do anything else. I say it's within 10 minutes. I ask for your patience because when I do this type of promotion, guys, it is just overwhelming. I mean, you guys love it. I understand why. Uh, I usually have three guys on full time for customer service. They are overwhelmed. Normally, I say customer service gets back to everybody within five minutes. You know, we're 100% online business. There's nobody answering phones. We don't have any phones. It's 100% online business. And yet, even with three guys, they get overwhelmed trying to handle your responses. So again, buy one, get one free. Buy the plays of any handicapper. Get the plays of a second handicapper of lesser or equal value for free. Does not apply to pay after you win plays or package plays. That's the buy one, get one free offer for today. And uh, hopefully uh, nobody will be hitting, uh, missing a bunch of free throws for you today or getting some weird, weird backdoor covers. Uh, let me talk about a couple of free plays here, first of all. In game number three of the Miami-New uh, York series the other night, I told you I was going with the Heat. Hmm, didn't look good for the first couple of quarters, did it? But the reason I was going with the Heat is because I just like LeBron and company this time of year because they've got the killer instinct. So many teams do not have the killer instinct. Indiana Pacers didn't have the killer instinct yesterday. Isn't that for damn sure? Chicago Bulls haven't shown much of the killer instinct. Isn't that for darn sure? The Lakers didn't show much of a killer instinct in game number two against Denver. Isn't that for sure? Guys, I like the Heat this time of year, okay? They showed the killer instinct repeatedly last year during their run to the finals. I like them today to finally close out the New York Knicks. I don't give a damn that Amari's going to come in and play maybe with the hand injury. This is not Willis Reed. Bill Bradley and Dave DeBusher aren't coming out of retirement to play today. You got J.R. Smith. You know, you're counting on J.R. Smith for you, okay? Tony Douglas? I mean, seriously? Come on, Amari's going to play? What's he going to do, play one-handed, play a little? I mean, he couldn't play well with two hands. What's he going to do doing playing with one? How with this? Lay the eight points. Take Miami. I mean, there's no other way to play that game. End of story. Next game. Okay, uh, yesterday I used the Astros as a dollar thirty dog, and they beat the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, that was my uh, dog of the day yesterday. I'm going to come right back with the Astros to complete a three-game sweep of the St. Louis Cardinals, who are now just 8-7 and seven on the road this season, losing four of their last five outside of Bush Stadium. Meanwhile, break up the Astros, guys. As I pointed out in backing them yesterday, they have now won five in a row, seven of their last nine overall. They have won six straight at Minute Maid Park, hitting over 300 during that six-game winning streak. And you know in their last 12 games, their average almost six runs a game, and surprise, surprise, they've won eight of those 12 games. Uh, J.A. Happ going for them today. Um, you know, he's got four quality starts and five starts this season. Uh, three runs, six hits allowed in six and a third innings and in beating the Mets at home on Tuesday. Now, the reason I did not use the Astros myself today is my baseball best bet, okay? There's one reason. Happ has sucked against the Cardinals in his career. One and six with a 6.44 earned run average. Now, a lot of guys will point out the opposite, that Adam Wainwright going for St. Louis has just been dominant against uh, the Astros in his career. And, you know, you look at the numbers, 9-1 and one with a 1.56 lifetime earned run average against Houston. Pretty impressive. But that was the Adam Wainwright before the elbow surgery. This is an Adam Wainwright this year that uh, is still in the recovery process. The Astros are hitting. The Cardinals are not. I like Houston today. And you're getting the Astros as a $1.40 home dog. I cashed in with them yesterday at $1.30. I'll take them today as a $1.40 pop. That'll do it, guys. Good luck to you all. And I'll catch you again on Monday.